In this video, we're going to take a look at one of my favourite reports in Xero, the Account Transactions Report. Now, it's pretty clear from the name what this report is about. This report will give you an analysis of your account transactions. We're going to look at the old style report where it's an analysis of only one account and we're going to compare it to the new style report where you can choose a selection or a range of accounts to do an analysis for. Let's head into Xero and take a look at the account transactions report. Okay, we're on the reports menu. We're at the left hand side. We're scrolling down to the accounting section and we're going to choose more reports. Then we're going to head to account transactions. I'm just going to give it a blue star to make it a favorite. And we can see that it's not new style, so it's an old style report. Let's select it. Okay, we get this error message. All it's doing is it's telling you that you need to select an account. It's an old style report. So the blue section at the top is where we have our flexibility. What can we do here in this report? Well, we can choose one account. It's only one we can choose. So let's select general expenses and we can choose a date range. It defaults to the current month. Let's choose from January to April. And because we've made changes, we will update. So there we have the list of all our transactions in general expenses, the account code that we've selected for the date that we've selected. OK, let's select a different account. So we're going to select sales. We've got the same period, January to April and update. There's quite a lot of information here. We can see we've got 39 items. The other thing you can do on the old style report is you can filter. So the default is the blue box looks like this. We can click on more options. When we click on more options, because we have regions, we track by regions in the demo company, we can select a region. So let's select East Side. We've made a change, so we update. Now we can see instead of 39 lines, we only have three. Let's choose another, so we'll choose North. Okay, we have six lines. Let's choose south. We have 13 lines and let's finish off by choosing west coast. Now we have eight lines and I'm going to finally look at anything that's unassigned. Okay, so that is if you are tracking, you can filter. If you don't want to, we'll just have do not filter and update. So that is how simple the account transactions report is in Xero, the old style. Select one account, select a date range and filter if you have tracking if you want to. If you don't need to, then you have a straightforward report, which is simply we chose the sales account, the sales transactions for January to April. OK, we're back on the dashboard. We're going to choose accounting. And because I favorited the two reports, I just want to show you one strange thing in Xero. Xero will have reports that have got the same name. So one of these is the old one and one is the new one. Unfortunately, looking here, we're not sure which is which. Choose the first one and that's the new style. Let me go back. So now we know choosing the second one would be the old style report. OK, so it's a new one we want to look at now because we've looked at the old style. So I'll choose the first on the list. You might just remember that. The other way of getting there, which is accounting reports. And then when you scroll down to accounting, you now know for definite that this is the new style report. OK, so what's the difference when we go to the new style report? The first difference is that you can choose all accounts or if we untick all, you can choose a selection of accounts. So let's say we want to look at sales and we've got search. So rather than scrolling through like I was doing there, you can select the sales account. OK, you can also select another account. So if we wanted to look at purchases as well, select that as well. So we've selected two accounts. The date range will default to this month. You've got the options and the new style report that you can change or you can choose a custom date. So we'll choose the same as we did in the old style from January to the end of April and we will update. 
So first difference is you can choose more than one account. The second difference and the main reason for using the new style reports is you can go into report settings and you've got the flexibility of what you want to show. So it's grouped by account. Let me just close that and you'll see what that means. That means you've got the purchases and then you've got the sales because we chose two different accounts. Back into report settings and then these are the columns that we're going to see on a report. So you would look at them and say, am I interested in that? Yes or no credit? Yes. Date, debit, description, cross-reference. I don't need a running balance. I don't need a source, I don't think. And let's update. Okay, so there we have description, the reference, debit, credit, gross and VAT. If we want to move things around, we can. We can move the VAT to there. We can go back into report settings and keep making changes until we're happy with the style of the report. There's a huge amount of flexibility in this account transactions new style. Again, because we have tracking, we can track all regions or we could choose one or we can choose several. Now remember again, in the old style, we could only select one at a time. We can add a filter. So let's say we want to filter by a date. Now I know we've chosen a date range already, but we can say we only want transactions that are dated one day, for example. I'm not sure why you'd want that, but just show you you can, and there is nothing there. So let's go back into report settings. That wasn't the most clever filter. We don't need that filter anymore, so we just head over to the right and click on the X. Okay, so if we make changes, we always update. We can change the account name, so you can edit the title. You can go in here. I'm just going to put my initials on the end of it. And then once you've got the layout that you're interested in, if it's something that you're going to use on a regular basis, remember that you have the option to choose save as in a new report and make it a custom report. Instead of account transactions, we're going to say sales and purchases. It's not going to be the default for this report because I think we'll use the account transactions report for lots of things. So we'll leave that unticked and we will save. So now just as a reminder, if we go to accounting and we go to reports, we go to the custom tab, we're able to pick up our sales and purchases report. It defaults to the date we chose. So if we wanted to change that date, we would do it here. The other thing we can do back to the custom header. If it's something we're going to use on a regular basis, we will give it a blue star. So now that means when I go here, my sales and purchases report is there. So I cannot stress enough how flexible this report is. Anything that you want to report on on a regular basis where you can choose the accounts you want to review and the dates that you want to review, this report will work for you. Go into report settings change how you want to group your accounts, change the columns that you want, filter if you need to, use tracking if you need to, update, and then when you've got the report that you want to use on a regular basis, it's always a good idea to save it as a custom report. And if it's a custom report that you're going to use on a regular basis, you're going to go to the reports menu, or you're going to go to the custom tab, and you're going to give it a blue star. So then when you go to the accounting menu, it's there for you. So that's account transactions, old style and new style. One of my favorites in Zero, especially the new style because of the flexibility. Mm -hmm.